I'm pretty sure you can hear it now. Damn, guys. All right. We're good. Anyways, let's restart this. <laughs> All right. Uh, Elite 42. Uh, fucking packaging. And you got WrestleMania 31 logo there. Up top there. And you got Triple H shit. And on the back, I got, like, if I, you didn't hear me, if you can't read lips, got my focus, bam, on point now. And then, uh, WrestleMania 31 for the ring attire, right there. And the ring attire for WrestleMania 31 was the Terminator. Yes. For some reason, the settings got messed up, guys. Sorry. We're live. Um, <laughs> that sucks. I had a really cool intro. I'll do it next time. But, uh. The WrestleMania 31 attire he came out as like a, the Terminator. So I already unboxed this because this is like the third Triple H I've had. Because all the paint defects, his eyes are like looking somewhere else. So that's the card back. That's the box. Um. Okay, good. Sound loud. I'll just take it out. So he comes with. I'll get close. <laughs> Show off how good. Yeah, baby. That looks pretty. So it comes with the Terminator uh, gear on the back. It's painted black. So the headpiece comes off separately. And then the gear itself, there's like a little stick right there. You can throw it in his hand so that it kind of stays with the arm as you articulate him. So kind of cool. Very cool, very cool. So, and then you take it off. It's very easy. It's pretty well detailed. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Does it articulate itself? I don't think it does. So that's all molded. It's all one piece. Burp. You make noise, so you're gonna stay over there. And then the headpiece is softer. This is a hard plastic. And then this is a. Like a softer rubber it looks kind of cool it's a nice little headpiece of course you got the terminator wrong finger matt terminator got uh eye guy right there thanks guys for letting me know about the uh the audio my god oh, that's why i have the chat what's up alex what's my favorite wrestling? is that a question for me show yeah i heard the music yeah the mic wasn't on but this the the music um was was working correctly for some reason What's the shredder? Yeah, it's very Terminator is, is right. So, this is... This is his face. Grim. This is the head scan. Looks alright. I don't know if you can really tell. Let's see how, how... About right there. The, the head scan's okay. The, the eyes are, are alright. They're looking mostly straight. But, this is your Triple H. He, uh, he's got his tr standard Triple H body. This guy's painted on white taped wrist and hands. On the back side, he's got elbow pads with his logo. Get close. His butt, this guy's just generic Triple H. He's got painted on leg tape. And then his elbows, or his elbows. Hey, shut up. His knees, they have... His logo on it as well and then his boots are just a standard boots so this is elite 42 triple h of course you got your thigh swivels and your ab crunch all kinds of stuff double bended knees so yeah this is uh he's a, he's all right um the what's the i think it's just wrestlemania 32 triple h comes with the last year's well it's for wrestlemania 33 but it's the wrestlemania 32 triple h it comes with the really cool entrance, even though the attire wasn't so cool, but the entrance was cool with Stephanie against Roman Reigns. This one was not as cool with the entrance, and to be honest, the match was very eh against Sting. Of course, he puts himself over Sting instead of having Sting win. What do we ask for? We asked for Undertaker versus uh, Sting, and what do we get? We get Triple H versus Sting, and he goes over, and Sting never has another WrestleMania ever again because he gets injured at SummerSlam. Uh, but yeah, this guy is um, no more than I mean, he's no more than twenty bucks. But he can get you can give him as low as like fourteen bucks. So it comes with this and then the the outfit. So 
I say he's worth it. This is my first Triple H figure I have. So, uh, will I have another Triple H on the way? I don't think so. I think that's the only one. All right, we can talk about Raw and talk with the chat stuff. Okay, so Shell's question. Um, favorite WrestleMania entrance? Uh, I don't know. I think The Undertaker in WrestleMania 23. I think it's the first time we had the, the Druids or whatever they're called come out. So that was really cool. Um, all right, let's go all the way back to the f first before the mic issues. Yeah, James Bond, what's up? All right, go ahead and watch that, dude. Um, all right, everyone's seeing here is the mic. Grim, lol, yeah. Grim needs to go back to figures, man. He hasn't made a, a, a much figure stuff. He usually does um, just his back there wrestling now, so hopefully he can start doing that some more. Yes, figure looks cool. Between football and Terminator, does it really? It looks, because of the pads, I mean, I guess I can see that. So, you're right, Jimmy. Jimmy, yeah. Except, what are you talking about, Paris? What are you talking about, the Halo figures? What, maybe I have a tell? Gustavo, we got a bottle. Bottle of what? <laughs> yeah, he striker. I understand he's trying to give himself a push. Um, I don't know. It's it. It seems that every WWE um, talent or Vince himself puts over the WWE talent and just tries to bury the WCW. That's what they did when they bought out um, them in what? Oh one was it? Was it what they went WWE bought out WCW, but once everyone went over from WCW to WWE, pretty much everybody got buried. So it's kind of sad. Yeah, Dress World Two starts filming. Um, when does it start filming? I think like in two days or something. Something really soon. Is Taker? Great question. Show is Taker HBK WrestleMania Twenty Five the greatest Taker match at WrestleMania? I'm gonna say yes. That's a good question. And if you if you think that too, I think I agree with you. Am I gonna go? La, la, la. Are you gonna go see Kong Skull Island? Yes, Lexi, Lexani, Lexani Rodriguez. Yes, I will. Hopefully, I get to see it early at a screener. The park reopens. I don't think the park's gonna reopen. I think they're gonna do some kind of like government testing or some kind of like uh, army thing on the island. What's the worst JW figure ever? Hmm. That's a good question. I'm gonna say the Bashin, uh, the Bashin, the Bashin bite uh, T Rex. That thing was pretty terrible. Big head, small arms. I hate all the basher biters. Water time. Oh, the chat's going too fast. The chat's going too fast. Are you excited about Skyline? Yes. Yes. Uh, what's crazy is Logan will probably be a far better movie. And I probably should be more excited for Logan. But for some reason, I'm, I have Kong on the brain. Probably because I like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. I like how uh, uh, Malcolm says dinosaurs. He says it like that. Everyone says, you know, dinosaurs, but dinosaurs. <laughs> what, what are you talking about, Jimmy? Shelf and arm or open one? What? Yeah, I haven't, that, uh, Master Blood, I have not seen the Kong uh, guys. I only seen the boat and the helicopter. I want to kind of get both. Right now, the funds are low. And I haven't seen anything else. I really want a Sam Jackson figure. Where is the Sam Jackson figure? So, 2002, I think. You might be right, Vegas. No, no, that 2002 seems too late. I think it was like 2001. It might have been 2002. Kong doesn't... Oh, filming starts Thursday. I thought you meant Kong starts Thursday. Walgreens is getting 04 DX Triple H. Bullshit, I gotta look that up. I'm gonna look that up right now. Uh, uh, Walgreens, shit. I spelled Walm Greens. Walgreens, uh, DX Triple H, whatever for, or just Walgreens. Me. Well, I know about the um, uh, the Shawn Michaels. Actually, yeah, it looks like update Walgreens Triple H. There's the wrestling, the form wrestling figure. Um, expected arrival date is three sixteen. Okay, cool. I haven't been to a Walgreens in like 10 years. <laughs> I have to go back there. Hopefully they got that Shawn Michaels. That'd be cool. 
Okay, there's a, is that from Toy Fair? No, that's not from Toy Fair because that's February 1st. Here, I'm going to switch over. Studio mode. Let's get the window and transition over to show the audience what I'm looking at. Yeah. Uh, this looks like a Toy Fair thing, but that Triple H looks dope. And, of course, they have the uh, picture of Triple H or uh, Shawn Michaels because, of course, they'll go together and... Uh, does not look like it. Hmm. But yeah, I gotta go to Walgreens and see what figures I got. Because I, I don't really go to Walgreens. And, of course, they have exclusives. Just like Target has exclusives. Just like Walmart has exclusives. I'm so sick of collecting and all these stupid exclusives. But yes, who are you that said that? Supreme Dictator Trump. <laughs> you are correct. They need, to, they, 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 they need to use Goldberg correctly. You're just gonna get up and boring like Reigns. Yeah, well, yeah. Honestly, I like mostly hate Roman Reigns, but I kind of like him. His personal uh, life, I, I like his, some of his choices he's done. Even though I don't like him as a performer, um, I think Roman's a cool guy. Even though I'm, I'm like, eh, I don't really care about him in the ring. Mattel, I think, will make a vintage line for Jurassic Park and Lost World. Alejandro, I think I've seen you before. Welcome back. <laughs> You don't know if you're going to see Skull Island, Jimmy? Come on, dude. Not Gamer, uh, Ultimate Gamer. Not all of them are, are bad. Do I have any here? Any Jurassic World figures? Um, I don't because they're actually in the living room, I think, or the dining room, whatever. And uh, I'm working on Rampage IREX stuff right now. It's a great question, Cal. Do you think they're aliens in Area 51? Probably. Yeah, I'm going to go with the yes. <laughs> That's a funny-ass question. Are the Kong Skull Island toys better than Dress World toys? I don't know because I haven't seen them. Um, that, that'll be tough because th those are two different companies. One is Lennard or Lanard, whatever the hell it's called. And one's Hasbro, which is a big one. And honestly, the Lennard stuff looks really good, especially compared to what we got from Hasbro, a big company. So, Okay, yeah, Locust Drone. So if anyone has seen on my Facebook page, if you like my Facebook um, I'm taking apart the Indominus Rex Rampage. So I'll do probably three videos. The taking apart, the fixing, the weight balancing issues, because it has weight balancing issues, so stupid. And then uh, the review. So uh, right now I'm working on taking apart. That'll be this week. So uh, I don't know what day. Maybe the earliest tomorrow. That's the earliest. I'm thinking... Maybe also Wednesday, but Wednesday don't don't forget I'm gonna plug it at the end too. What uh, Wednesday is Star Wars uh, unboxing live or brand new review live of the Force Awakens Tie Fire. We can talk Star Wars stuff, movies, toys, or Jurassic like we do right now. <laughs> and movies, because Casey reviews asks. Excuse me, at the burp again. <laughs> Which do you think will be better, Logan or Guardians Two? Ooh, I think. I want to say Guardians 2, but I think the trailer and stuff for Logan, and plus I like rated R films, obviously. I think Logan might be better, but that's going to be tough because I like both X-Men and Guardians a lot. So that's a great question, KC. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things, Gamer, about the Kongs, the, the toys. Like A lot of people are hyping them up, especially because of the, the cheap price point. You see the Wonder Woman movie design? No, I'm, I'd am i stay away from spoilers and stuff. I think uh, people leaking things is not cool. <laughs> the helicopter is kind of cool. The pterodactylus and the skull crawler. I, the skull crawler seems a little small, though. I, I Yeah, the Kong looks pretty good. Goldberg is the spine of Raw. The spine. <laughs> Feel so bad. Yeah, I'm sorry, Kaju. I, I told you, man, I don't see shit from my Walmart for Kong, man. I'm sorry. I haven't seen nothing. I, I love to partake in um, seeing stuff and like, oh, wow, that looks cool. But my area's got nothing for Kong. You still have that JW thing from the store? Gustavo, you're going to have to elaborate on that, my friend. <laughs> Rosa, when are you, am I going to buy Kong Skull Island toys? I don't know because I haven't seen them. You're going to send me the... The, the Sam Jackson versus Skullcrawler set, but you don't feel like it has a lot of cat hair. Yeah, don't do that because I'm allergic to cats. I'll just send it back to you. 
You gave all your JW toys to your eight-year-old cousin, Jimmy. Well, you don't should not feel bad at all because you did the right thing. There's only like two or three JW toys that are worth keeping, and it's probably the Indominus, the Mosasaur. You know, the Mosasaur's not really that great, and the uh, Growler Blue. Dude, just go see Kong, man. You know, it won't be that bad, I mean, I think. Well, Locust, what Mattel can do for Jurassic Park is they can just re-sculpt everything, which is fine. It'll probably be better looking. Maybe. Kenner is good. But uh, they can just remake stuff. I mean, they might even be better. Like, the figures might actually look like, you know, the figures like Alan Grant. Plus, the vintage stuff itself, like, from Kenner is getting way too expensive to collect, so... The hell was that? Oh, I got a subscriber. Huffleman. Yeah, thank you, Huffleman. Or Hoffy Man. Sorry. But yeah, isn't that cool? That little the gif of Sid? I love that shit. That's so cool. This is a cool thing I got going on, man. I love doing this shit. This is better than doing reviews, to be honest with you. Okay, but back with the the um Jurassic Park. But yeah, they can Mintel can totally do it. Yeah, I hope they do a series two for Kong. Um, I hope they do do like a bigger skull crusher because if you have a, like a T-Rex or you know V-Rex and Kong well, I'm doing the wrong hands, but just go with it <laughs> um, If they have like a V-Rex slash skull crawler and Kong then they can you know Fight Wait, cow you subbed um, They could fight Just like you know the V-Rex or the T-Rex and the Kong fighting so in scale it'd be cool It probably wouldn't sell as much as Kong, but I think it'd still be awesome to have Goodfellas or Godfather? That's a really great question. The Godfather, because uh, Goodfellas, it has, uh, I want to give it like probably an 8, and then Godfather like a 10 or a 9, because the, the, the biggest problem I have with the Godfather is <sighs> Mike goes off to Italy, and he totally leaves, uh, God, what's her name? Kate. Kate? I forget, man. It's been a while since I've seen the movie. And he goes with the Italian chick, and that was like completely useless of a subplot. And then comes back to Kate in America, like it was, it was, it was pointless. And he, like, he totally forgot about his girlfriend in America. Am I doing that right? Yeah, he totally forgot about his girlfriend in America, and was just finally with this chick in Italy. Like he had like no morals, I guess. And then uh, Goodfellas is probably worse because I think the best character in Goodfellas was Karen. And then of course our main character, fuck, I forget his name. It might be Jimmy. No, Jimmy's uh, Robert De Niro. Um, Ray Luada's character. Uh, he was just a piece of shit. He was just cheating on Karen like twice, I think, and was still with this ugly chick, the side chick, and doing drugs. And I'm like, man, I don't... And then, like, at the end, he bitches about it. I'm going to say this in a video. I'm going to do an analysis one day, I think, of Scarface, because I think Scarface is the best gangster film. The 84 version. The Palmer. Pacino, baby. Um, but, yeah. I'm going to say... Um, to wrap that up, at the end of Goodfellas, uh, maybe his name was Harry? I don't know, it'll probably be in the chat, someone's gonna correct me, but uh, Ray Lott is like bitching about his whole life, like, oh, I'm in the witness protection program, I eat spaghetti or whatever, I was like, man, fuck this guy, so Godfather over Goodfellas. Uh, yes, taking apart the Irex, your chat stopped, well, it's working for me, bro, did I see rings? Fuck no, what's up, Trey? Don't you like Predator? I love Predator, what do you mean? Lucas, where'd you get that from? Are you kidding me? They marked down the Kong section? That's impossible, unless it was overpriced. This shit's already cheap as it is. How'd you forget the Han Solo died, Jimmy? Come on. Yeah, dude, they're really scalping that Kong, man. I I want I do want to see that uh, Tom Hiddleston figure, though. Paris, why are you, where are you going, bro? People are... There's, there's more people entering the chat. <laughs> you still have the robot in Dominus. Oh, you mean the, the Zoomer? The Zoomer Dominus? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, I haven't touched it since I reviewed it, though. Thank God I don't play with the stuff, so just keep it in the box. It looks cool. Kong's got a solid cast, but I have to worry about bad acting. Mm, I don't know. I think the only bad acting... I don't think it's bad acting, but it's it's probably the writing is John C. Riley's character. But I think the acting's going to be fine. That cast is amazing. Uh... Oh, uh, damn, that sucks, Locust. This, he, uh, 45 minute drive to get Walmart Kong toys, and he forgot his wallet, and they were gone by the time. That sucks, man. See, they should have figures 
available. Oh, we got someone else subbed. Chris Guy, what's up? Could have picked a better number, bro. As <laughs> I just roasted him. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the thing, though. They should have um, people fucking available online to buy. You should be able to buy anything. You should be able to buy this. I mean, not like, you know, back in the day, though. Like, if there's a new spine source, you should be able to buy it online, no problem. Maybe there's like a, a, a cutoff of how many, like, you can buy. Like, you can maximum buy three for yourself. And, or you can buy just three on one credit card or one shipping address or whatever. Because it prevents people from, like, buying 500 of them. It's fucking stupid. Figure arts are making Pacific Rim 2 figures. Well, that's good. Is NECA making them? Because <laughs> uh, NECA was making them for so long. And then they said that, you know, it wasn't the fans that was uh, making the line successful. You know, buying the shit. The consumers. Which it, it is. They, they, they said it was them that was uh, making the Pacific Rim figures. Um, uh, successful. It's like, no, that's not how it works. Thoughts on South Park? Coley, I'm going to say it's amazing. <laughs> um, Yeah, Locus Mattel is good. They, they, they could just, re I mean, it won't be a, yeah, it could still be a vintage line, Locus, so. You just, I mean, it's not just a reissue, like, say, uh, Hasbro does for Star Wars or whatever. Her childhood movie is Good Burger. That's a good choice. Good Burger is pretty funny. Can you post a video on how you do your toy hunting videos? Um, Hobbit named Sam. All you do is, if you have a phone, you just turn on the fucking phone, and then you can either film yourself or just <laughs> film yourself, or you can just film with the phone. Are you? It, if you're really nervous, if you have Instagram, just go on Instagram story and just 15 seconds, like do a couple of different things and maybe you can bridge it together into YouTube and you can make your own, like it's, it's, it's really, it's really simple. It's, it's so easy. Oh shit. Hey, wait a minute. Master Bill, you already sub. You just unsub and then resub. Don't do that shit <laughs> because it takes away. I can see how long you guys have been subbed for like three years, one year, two months. Now it's going to say one day. <laughs> Alejandro's favorite Kenner Rex is the Bull and Red Rex. Those are two great choices. Top three Jurassic Park toys. So good job, Alejandro. Black Snow Films asks, Am I picking up the NECA Prometheus and Alien Covenant figures? Uh, no. I will not be buying any NECA stuff. They can send me stuff if they want to, but they're probably not going to. But I don't, I don't choose to support Deco. They should make a little diorama where Kong is V-Rex. They probably have something like that, Jimmy. Henry Hill. Yeah, Henry Hill. Good fellas. There you go, Vegas. <laughs> there you go, Ultimate Game. I'm not, I'm not enemies with, with NECA. I just uh, don't support them anymore, man. I have, I have no enemies. I don't, I don't, that's If I was in, in, in high school, I would. But, uh... I'm, I'm, I finished college. I don't. That's that shit's stupid. Enemies and 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 drama and uh, uh, grudges. That's the word I'm looking for. He man line. They made six inch where they made resculpts. That's cool, but I don't like six inches, Locus. So, but yeah, reimagining. Yeah, Locus. That's what I'm thinking of too. So Mattel will probably do a reimagining with like four inch guys. I don't have any four inch guys here. Besides, I have Roman Reigns on this other side of this uh, reflector. Uh, I have uh, Legos down there at Jurassic Park, but but yeah. Have you seen Taxi Driver with Robert De Niro? That's a great question. I don't have it anymore because I traded it in, but yeah, it's a good film. Jimmy with the Chromebook save, or the, the, the phone save from the Chromebook. Dude, five, no way, KC. You had to show me a photo of that on Instagram or Twitter. He says 15 bucks for Kong. And five bucks for the human, uh, the animal packs. That there's no way you gotta send me a photo of that. I don't believe you. Civil War, Batman v Superman. Great question. Batman v Superman, for sure. Show the figure I got here late. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh! You talking about uh, Triple H? Okay, sorry. Yeah, he's pretty dope. Comes with his, his head, his head, his helmet. I'm gonna do the thing one more time. 
Stupid Falcon fan for uh, uh, Oscar. So that's the entrance. And this actually, I'm an idiot. Take off the helmet. The helm, uh, the helmets are made of like a softer rubber, and the plastic is harder. And then he has little pegs right there that go into the hands, so the hands hold up. It's just for that though, because if you, eh, you kind of can move it, it just stays in place. So that's kind of cool. But uh, it's Elite 42 Triple H, pretty much the same Triple H we've been getting with the head shaved. Actually, I forgot to say that on the back of the head, it's like a little, you know, fat neck roll. Great job, Mattel, for the detailing there, because that's realistic. He has a little fat neck roll. If you couldn't see it when he had his ponytail shit, where'd that helmet go? It's down here. But yeah, pretty cool Elite 42. You can get them as low as like 13 or 14 bucks on like eBay or something. And don't pay more than 20 for them. It's just another Triple H. Uh, Kong will have more screen time than Godzilla had in 2014. That's probably true because a lot of people made fun of that movie for that reason. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have any Predator action figures. However, I would like to have some like Predator hot toys. Dylan, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Dutch. I need a Dutch. Uh, they have a three foot Godzilla at Walmart. Dude, where do you live? I've only seen those at Toys R Us. Good, NECA's not making them. They must have given up the license then for Pacific Rim. Uh, which you could, must have made it uh, figure arts. How the hell did figure arts get Pacific Rim too? It's pretty dope. Figure Arts is probably the second best toy company. I want to say number one is Wicked Cool Toys, who makes the WWE Authentic Scale Ring, which apparently is not anymore. Master Builder, why, why'd you do that, dude? I'm just catching up with the chat. Uh, am I worried, Matt? Kong's going to end up like Godzilla 2014. I'm going to show small clips of monsters being focused on humans. I don't know. Probably not. I think we'll be... It'll be all right. Crazy how you went on... Crazy how different you reviews on YouTube ones had an extra incident when they came out broken. What? You have to clarify on that one, Vegas. <laughs> oh, we're, unless you're saying I'm trying to read your thing and analyze it. <laughs> unless you're saying uh, pe different people reviewing is open neck of figures that have problems. I think that's what you're saying. Marvel Legends and yeah, dude, um, Dictator Trump. <laughs> um, that two pack, um, Star Lord and Yondu. I don't know why I said Ego. Uh, Yondu and Star Lord, they're, they're making a three, three quarter inch two pack. I might get that. I might get that. Thank you, Black Snow. Uh, Shell, what JP toys am I going to review this year? Young Tyrannosaurus Rex, is that what you're asking about? Not Jurassic World, right? Thank you for coming back, Striker. Yeah, dude, Sacramento's flooded, and so is LA. <laughs> LA is fucked. <laughs> Last time I checked your shit, NECA, and your NECA rant. What? What do you mean? That'd be cool. Alejandro gets some more uh, flea market. They have some nice stuff in flea markets for um, vintage Jurassic Park. So. Yeah, there's another one, Jimmy, with um, the Thrasher T-Rex at the bottom of a Goodwill bag. That's amazing. Yeah, go, yeah, send me that pet, KC, on Twitter or Instagram or something. Am I going to collect Mezco 112 figures? That's a great question. You mean, is it 112? Or, yeah, it's 112. Uh, those look really cool, but they're like, say, 100 bucks. Like, it, it, it made me, that's, that's a great question. It made me think, for six inches, Mezco makes... A Batman v Superman armored Batman. And it's like 115 bucks or something like that. I could do that. Or I could buy the 12 inch Hot Toys, the best looking version you can ever get of a figure for double the price, double the height. I will go with the Hot Toy one. Unless Mezco have to burp. Unless Mezco wants to send me the six inch version stuff, I will probably be mostly interested in the one six scale. So, 
Yeah, dude, Seth has really bad uh, luck. I don't know if it's because he's an atheist. <laughs> I don't know why. But yeah, he's uh, he's only winning one one WrestleMania. He won the title. That was about WrestleMania 31. Look at that plug. Wow. Crazy. Did the Andre torso fully break? What do you mean? Oh, the paint. I think just the paint chipped. That when I that when it moved, Striker. Gustavo, we can talk episode eight Wednesday, bro. Yeah, from the Heat Impact Striker. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a Detroit Lions blanket. You want to see it? I'm an all Detroit fan, except I root on the Kings instead of the Red Wings. But uh, can you see this? Oh shit! Yep, yeah. that's my team. Bam. I got the blanket on eBay. I think the bottom one says Lions. Actually, kind of cool because actually, yep, this is damn it, this is outdated because apparently they're changing the logo. They're going with the. I'll just throw it here. I don't care anymore. They're, they're changing. They're getting rid of all the black, which I don't really agree with, but they do need to keep old school color schemes. So they're getting rid of the black in the logo. Coley, I am growing my hair, but I need to fucking cut it. Um, I'm going to do. I'm keeping the hair for. How to talk like Kyle Ren video, and uh, the Joker reviews, uh, the Joker Metacom figure, and then I'm cutting it. Thank God, but those will come after the Rampage, and then I'm gonna do a Batman v Superman Brando cut V2 movie discussion, and then probably those ish. Oh, I have some King Kong figures. You you already probably see that one, right there. Got it, that one and another one. But it'll go Jurassic Park King Kong. Star Wars, Joker, bam, I can cut my hair. Thank God. <laughs> Water time. What other toy lines aside? Terminator, Alien, JP, do you collect? That's a good question. Uh, uh, Dark Knight stuff, but I don't have, you know, I never, I don't, I have the, I think the video on YouTube, but I don't think anyone's ever really seen this because no one really watched it, but this is my old goalie helmet. I retired because too many shots to the head. But I painted this, and obviously this is Bane. I painted this actually, I want to say December 2011. And that's before the film, uh, before the film came out. Is that a mark? Oh, see, I hate when I paint something and it starts chipping. But I painted this in December 11, before the film premiered. I just knew I was going to love Bane, and I, I did. But... I got the Batman logo here, and of course the whole thing is Bane's mask on this side. I think it was it just say Rise on both sides, yeah. I'm gonna eat it. I don't know my own helmet, but I got him there. And I didn't have an airbrush, so what I did was permanent marker. Of course, that the white is just white paint, but the black is permanent marker and the silver is permanent marker as well for all the detailing. And then let's see if I get that. I just drew all the shit myself. Freehand actually, I didn't trace it. Usually you just trace shit because I'm not that great of a drawer. I used to be really good at drawing dinosaur shit. But I'm really terrible at drawing humans. Of course, FR. No survivors. And fire rises. And then the logos. But I keep this over here. I'm just going to put it on the floor for now. And I got the Kylo helmet, which I think I showed last week. Yes? I think I showed the Kylo helmet last week. But uh, I can't believe I just went on a tangent. Yeah, I love Alien, Jurassic Park, Terminator, uh, Dark Knight, Tron. Tron also. I have some Tron items that are going to be coming up. What's up, gamer guy? Uh, when will JP figures come back? I think next year, next January probably. Yes, uh, dictator, <laughs> dictator Trump. I saw that Goldberg and Mattel elite scale ring. I'm kind of worried about the Mattel elite scale ring. I'm hoping it's the same exact size, but it doesn't look it as the authentic scale ring from Wicked, blah, blah, from Wicked Cool Toys because Wicked, uh, Wicked Cool Toys has two cages, the a modern and the retro one. that are really cool, and they're probably not gonna fix it. Bob, are you asking um, what figure for unboxing live or for, um, fuck, for like other reviews like in the studio? Dude, I think Mattel, Gamer, I think Mattel is going to listen to the fans. I'm pretty sure they're, they, they've seen my video for sure. They're going to make uh, good quality stuff. And it's funny, um, spoiler alert for their Rampage and Dominus uh, taking apart. Hasbro totally watched my video on taking apart the um, first of Dominus, the chomping bad boy. They totally watched that because they added a washer on the leg 
I'll, don't worry, I'll, I'll show you in the video. It's there. I laughed and I even say that in the video, so look out for that. Oh, Eagle. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, the six inch. I don't care about the six inch stuff. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, his, like his dad. Yeah, 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 I saw that. I'm like, well, great. I hate how they released toys before the movies because I really wanted to see what he looked like in the film. I didn't see any spoilers. If there was any leaks, I didn't see him for Guardians 2. And uh, that kind of made me mad when I saw it. I'm not going to lie. I hate seeing spoiler shit, man. Never get kid friendly ever. Keep your channel the way it is. All right. <laughs> Master Biller, how old are you when you're saying this? You're probably like 14. All right, gamer, we'll wait for you. Diamond Select is making a Netflix Daredevil. Dope. I shall send that to Chris, maybe. Okay, cool, Casey. I'll look uh, on Twitter, dude. Uh, I don't see it, bro. <laughs> I'm going to refresh. Oh, wait, I got some notifications. Yeah, dude, I got it. Yeah, you ain't bullshitting. Look at that. Let me see if I can show it. Can I show it? Hey, look at that. He ain't lying. It's, uh, it's marked down. It's a, it says 18-inch Coswell. Was 24, now 14. You know what's crazy? Unless you already unboxed that. Did somebody rip off? You got to tell me in the chat. Did somebody rip the uh, the shitty figure that it's included? <laughs> what do I think of the Power Ranger figures? I don't think I've seen them besides that T-Rex and that big ass whatever that is. I, I'm, you're talking about the new movie, I, I'm assuming. The old... Uh, what the hell is that company? It's Japanese. Like uh, I forget. It starts with a T, I think. They make the retro ones. Those look cool. That's why I wanted them to make... Anything, anything Japanese I want made Jurassic Park. I have not seen Sausage Party, but I think it's coming on Netflix. Unless it's already on Netflix. But it's coming on Netflix, I've heard soon. I haven't had any real flea market luck, except I found one Jurassic Park Raptor. They're new, but... Uh, you found a Bull T-Rex for five bucks? Holy shit. Yeah, Vegas. I got all kinds of Detroit shit, bro. I'm going to show you my hats. I only got actually... Uh, this is the road. This is the road snapback. And I like the snapbacks that look like the authentic ones. So they have the stupid patches on the side. This one, this patch is really cool because it has the Detroit city flag. And of course, this is like the 09. No, this is like 11. 11 uh, Tigers. I need a new Pistons one. This one's so old. Uh, champs. It's like, this is my, like, these two are like my go to the gym hats. And then these are probably like my eyewear hats. <clears throat> YouTube videos hats. <laughs> You're not Batman, Paris. You liar. You want to see more of the 09 Allosaurus? Why? I already made a video on it. You hated the black. You're glad you ditched. Yeah, I I really like the black because obviously, um, that that hat. Well, not that that logo, but like I was a big Lions fan. Like 07 when I went to college. I went to college in like the Toledo area, so I watched all the Lions games. So I fell in love with them. So, um. The black, that was the, they wore their that jersey a lot, and they don't wear that the all black alternate anymore. I thought it looked really cool, so it's kind of, kind of sucks. But at the same time, they need that tradition of silver, the Honolulu blue and silver. Sorry. Um, yeah, the Ultimate Gamer, dude. I'm, yeah, I need to start doing more movie stuff and and do less toys. I feel like I can do toy stuff, but it could be different from what you usually see here. Like, this is different doing live unboxings. You can go back and just watch the figure. You can relive the chat after all this uh, is done. Um, but I feel like I should do something different for toys and then really concentrate on movie analysis stuff. Revenge Reviews says, where do you display your JP toys? I only have, like, I don't think you've seen it over there. I only have, like, a couple of box items. And then everything else is, like, in plastic tubs. So... In the, in the garage, like a rack system. I, w I wish I could have just fucking, sh like, Pixel Dan has. He has, like, you know, shelves and stuff. I wish I could have something like that. A big display, like, in a basement or something. <gasps> Funko Pop toys to make. I'm not too big in the Funko Pops, but people who are into them, yeah, I think Jurassic Park and Jurassic World should. You got a three and three quarter inch Black Panther. Awesome. I think I might get one of those. Those are really cool. Uh, three and three quarter inch Marvel Legend guys. Yeah, dude. Uh, so you so you have the V Rex and the Roaring Kong. Locus, what video? I forget what fucking video I was talking about. Locus. Oh, you talking about um, the video of the helmet? What's your favorite thing? Great question, wrestling. Huh? What's my favorite thing from 
all the stuff at Toy Fair. Uh, I want to say Legend Killer Randy Orton because I'm a big Randy Orton fan. I have been for like the longest time. And uh, even though I think the figure is a little off because he, he's too shredded, he needs to be a little more fat. He looked, uh, the head scan looked good though. And of course the shirt's awesome, but he looked a little bit too cut. What's up, Mateo? That's the name my mom calls me. <laughs> uh, what do you like better, Alan Grant, Malcolm, or Owen? Malcolm. Have you ever played Minecraft? No. Am I going to make an update video on NECA unless they like apologize or something? I'll apologize to them. But besides that, no. I don't need to. They're, they're, they'll, they'll do their own thing. I'll do my own thing. It's all good. No worries. I don't, I don't think Mattel's JW stuff's going to suck. You, you'll be okay. Yes, I've checked out Ringside Collectibles. Um, I ordered a couple. I ordered, you know, the very first uh, WWE Unboxing Live. It was Ringside Collectibles. Um, I would like to uh, talk to them for some sponsorship stuff because they can send me that exclusive Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. Not for Unboxing Live, but for like a real review. That'd be really great. Dane, that is awesome. I don't know who you are. <laughs> I'm assuming you meant can't relate to your channel. I have one of the greatest personality YouTubers love watching your builders. Well, thank you very much, man. That makes me fucking, like, want to cry. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, Locust, they could have done it as soon as, I think, summer this year. But why wait that, well, go that early. Take your time, and then I think, um, you don't have to worry about posting too much. Um, yeah, there's a word like, I think, like, 200 characters. It's kind of like Twitter. But, uh, they're probably they're gonna go for January, which is fine because once January starts, and I think the movies come out in June, so they got six months to really like put shit on shelves, and you're gonna see a lot of stuff, especially in spring. I think everything's gonna be coming out, just like Jurassic World. I think about closing the Mez. I think you mean Mezco. I think I already answered that one. You're talking about the 112. Yeah, I answered that one. I might as well just restate it. Uh, they're they're okay. If they send send them to me, I'll I'll do them, but I can't afford to buy them on my own. <laughs> Uh, unless I'm, I, for some reason, I went backwards, or the chat got fucked up. <laughs> <coughs> Someone took out one of the scroll crawlers. Dude, what the fuck is it? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut a promo. Matt Justice will arrive, and I'm gonna cut a promo as Matt Justice for these fucking people who steal. Such bullshit. Have I seen the new... Black Series, Jenner or so, Death Trooper, Cassian, and Scarif Trooper. Uh, I own the Jin, and I think I own the Death Trooper. And that's going to be a very, very, very special video where I review all of the Rogue One little three and three quarter inch figures I have. Uh, it's going to be very funny. And I think it's going to be kind of viral because it'll be very different. It won't be a review. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. I don't want to spoil anything. And it will be a cameo, possibly. That you guys know. Uh, Kong figure's been sitting there? That's surprising. DC Collectibles put their film line on hold? Really? I didn't know that. That sucks. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of weird it's trying to find vintage like toy stores. We have one here. We used to have two. One of them shut down. They're the same company. Or people who own the stores, and uh, I don't like the one guy that works there. He's kind of pompous, and they they kind of charge too much for shit. So they charge like at eBay or above eBay. Why the fuck even go? You know, worst toy that Kenner made, Bob. I said that I think uh, last week or two weeks ago. Is a, I'm gonna say a electronic Spinosaurus from Lost World. Who's your favorite actor of all time? That's a good question. I'm going to say Paul Newman. I have a Paul Newman. Have you seen this? Oh, I'll show it. My buddy loves this thing. It's not a real signature, but it's Paul Newman. It's from the same area I am, so pretty cool. Tommy. No, I don't mean Tommy. Tommy's... Tommy made good dinosaur. Tommy doesn't make uh, 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 Power Rangers. I wonder why I forgot about that. Yes, moment of silence for Mike Illich.
I, I don't know, Alfalfa. If you if you like six inch scales, Mezco are great, but I don't think they're better than Hot Toys. Well, I collaborate with Chris Stuckman again. Of course, dude. We're gonna do a ton of cool shit. Yeah, man, this this thing is pretty dope. It is really cool. Um, I think I, if you saw it last week, I kind of fixed them. He he works a little bit better today. Up, up, up! Come on. Yeah, Hasbro really cheapened out with the electronics, but at least he goes down today. He just doesn't want to go up. He's still a little of an old man. There he goes. But yeah. Um, could have been a little bit better job for this, but they're still kind of cool. I uh, can't wait. Hopefully they make a... No, they'll, they'll tell make a big one. This this guy's one of the most popular dinosaurs outside of T-Rex. They'll make another one. And hopefully it'll be better electronics and isn't a very thin rubber piece of shit. <laughs> have I watched the Justice League action TV show? I uh, have not. I'm sorry. I didn't even know there was one. Uh... When I think of Rogue One, I thought it was disappointing. I heard reboard dinosaurs are badass qualities. I'm not too big into the models, though. I only have the Papo Spinosaurus, which I think you guys have seen. Yeah, you've seen that. That was, uh, that might have been the Mattel Kill Jurassic World Tour line video, I think. What's your favorite? How did I miss that? Once the chat's doubling itself. Uh, what's your favorite skit you've done? I want to say maybe the hybrid T-Rex. The uh, hybrid FX Tyrannosaurus. The one with the green spikes and Deadpool. I think that one. That one would be my favorite. Where am I from? I'm from Cleveland. Sadly. <laughs> <laughs> with Affleck and Reeves out for... Is, is Matt Reeves out for directing Batman? Is that real? No way. Matt Reeves, Batman. Because I knew Ben was gone. No. Damn, that sucks. I heard the script is... Is the script done? I think the script's done. I like it, so that's good. You need a good script. Honestly, I don't think Ben Affleck should direct Batman because that'd be really hard to do that as an actor and direct. Especially a big-ass movie like that. This ain't Argo. This is bigger. But that really sucks. Both of those guys uh, were good choices. But who knows who's going to be next? Mattel. Flashback appears more cartoony. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I think the only figures I'll be getting when I saw from Toy Fair is Randy Orton, Legend Killer, maybe Brutus Beefcake. I don't know why I like buying the, the retro guys. Ben Affleck quitting the role of Batman. I don't, I don't think I see that happening. He's a really good looking Batman. I don't think he'll walk away. Unless it's like personal reasons, you know. Which I understand. Like family and stuff. He's going through some shit. So we should probably give some people some privacy. <laughs> they probably deserve it. I thought DC... I haven't like I've seen that. Oh wait, yeah, I have. I, I had... What I had was... They had the Mafex figures on order? Or the DC collectibles ones, I forget. But I had the six inch stuff on order. And then when I saw the Hot Toys ones, I was like, fuck it. And I canceled my pre-orders at Big Bad Toy Store. And I was like, I'm just going to go with getting, <laughs> excuse me, the Hot Toys versions. <sighs> Rebores are really that expensive? No. What is your dream movie crossover? Honestly, I really like the idea of Deadpool and Wolverine. That'd be really cool. How much was the Spino on eBay? What, this one? This one was 30 bucks. I lucked out. Yeah, you're probably laughing and thinking I'm lying, but it actually is true. You can ask the Raptor Squad people. It was 30 bucks. And they usually go for like, what, 150 It's a lot of money. It's not worth it, people. It's, it, that, this isn't worth it. It's cool, but it's not worth $150, $300. Shell, what is your favorite Rocky movie? It's a good question. I'm going to say Rocky, maybe Rocky Three. Even though my, I like Rocky Five, man, the the work print. So either Rocky Three or Rocky Five work print. What do you think DC or Marvel should do different whenever they reboot their movie franchises? I don't know. I think they're doing it fine now. Uh, you have to establish all your characters. Don't change the actors. 
and uh, kind of make it a little bit different than before. And I think they've done that. Are you going to see new Pirates of the Caribbean movie? Uh, for free at a screener, hopefully. I don't want to pay to see it. <laughs> I'm not the biggest Pirates fan. Is that the Thrasher T-Rex? Yeah, dude, it's right over here. His leg's busted. His leg was busted since like 99 or so. But this is... Honestly, I like the Thrasher better than the Bull. I think the proportions are great. The rubber is awesome. You don't need electronics, man, because when you're a kid, you just like go rawr. You know, you make your own fucking sounds as a as a child. Do you, could you see Chris Evans playing Nightwing? Chris Evans, Captain America. Am I, am I thinking of right? Sorry. What? No. I don't see him playing Nightwing. Lightwing should be fucking Joseph Gordon Levitt. You know, it won't be. Once they're doing the DC. I don't know. Let's just give it to Joseph Gordon Levitt. This is a great question by Marinated. Damn it, chat. What are you doing? Great question by Marinated Police Ben Benetta. I don't know why I'm thinking of JA. Banana. <laughs> Which movie do you like? Alien or Aliens? That is a fucking great question. Alien. Everybody likes Aliens so much. I think it's kind of overrated. And I love Alien. It's. If you're if you're trying to dabble into screenwriting, you will find out in every book the same exact thing. There's a plot point, a plot point, a plot point, a plot point, a plot point. Alien hits all these notes so fucking clearly that it'll help you out if you just study Alien from front to back. You will you will be a successful writer. It, it's Alien is perfect. It's amazing. Perfect organism. Perfect film. Terminators with the, uh, the Utah Raptors. The Terminator, I don't I don't know if I have an uh, idea for the Rampage Irex, but the Terminator might have, I don't know if it'll, the Utah Raptors will be there, but the Terminator might make an appearance, spoiler alert, for a skit for the Rampage, if I do a skit for the Rampage. They're really a pain in the ass to do the skits. Well, Reborn Canada, well, can, everything will cost more in Canada. So, First Avengers movie or Batman v Superman? That's a good question. First Avengers movie is really good, but I'm still saying Batman v Superman. Marvel or DC in a fight? I don't know. Yeah, the left leg and the spinals always break. Or the, the right leg, I think you mean, right? This leg right here. The right leg. I think those are always, they always break. But yeah, man, when you have stuff on shelves, make sure you have stands or something. They made a book based JP toy. Ooh. Wait a minute, well, I'm trying to understand this question a little bit. Are you talking about they made a book-based JP movie? Is that what you mean? Who would you want to direct it? Shit, I'd want to direct it. <laughs> Who do you want to play the characters? That's a good question. never thought about that. Maybe I'll make that a video in that like a year or two. What happened to the Raptor Squad? Uh, Raptor Squad still... Well, we, we talk. Your podcast with them is gone, and they dot, dot, dot. Haven't been active since 2015. I don't know, you have to ask uh, JP Carnotaur. What's your favorite Star Wars movie toys? Anything from the vintage collection. I actually am going to unbox the Django Fett Slave 1 here soon. It's from uh, the Clone Wars one, the big one. Soon as in like six months. Or so, I don't know. But I have it in storage. Are you excited for Spider-Man Homecoming? The, uh, Dick Dare, Tr da -da -da -da. Dick Dare, Donald Trump, yes I am. I'm a big Spider-Man mark. Do you have a P.O. box? Uh, I do not yet. I should probably make one, right? Good question. Terminator 1 or Terminator 2? Police ban... ban God, if you want to say banana. Banana. I'm just going to call you J.A. Banana. Uh, Terminator 2. Terminator 1 is really good, though. Only the remastered Blu-ray, which I have over there. The, un, well, the old Blu-ray from like 06 or something? 07? That one was terrible. And the remaster makes me love the movie actually even more. Hasbro deserves a lot of hate. Kill all the toys and see. I know, dude. That that David Silva, man, he's awesome. And uh, something will happen with him and Hasbro, and they just let. Can you imagine if David Silva made Jurassic World toys? I would have made that fucking video. I would have been ranting, not ranting, but I would have been raving about Jurassic World toys if David Silva made them. Yeah, I'm playing Alien Isolation. I had the DLC. Yeah, Ultimate Gamer. Um, I'm trying to do that maybe. Live stream Thursday or Saturday night for Alien Isolation. 
So yeah, I'm going to be doing Alien Isolation here. Do you like Punk's heel turn in 12? Ooh, Trey. Fuck. Who do you, who do you turn heel against? 12. Because Summer Punk... Ah, uh, shit. Summer of Punk was 11. He was kind of a heel, even though we rooted him on, you know? What's up, Goji fan? Yeah, book-based movie. Yeah, I don't know who I'd want to uh, act in it and stuff. I'd have to think about that. But I would definitely want to fucking make that for myself. Ain't nobody touching that but me. Yeah, do you guys, did you guys? Diego had a great question. Have you guys seen that fucking... Let me look that up. Oh, I'm going to show you guys right now. Put this thrasher away. Greatest toy ever. Um, uh, Mattel bat. Uh, it's like, it's a RC bat. Fuck. I, I typed Matmobile instead of Batmobile. Um... Yeah, so this is like the RC from Transition Time. This is the RC. Oh, shit. Please don't. Okay, cool. Um, this thing blows up. Oh, this thing blows smoke. It's all good. This thing blows smoke. It's it's an RC. It has a freaking six-inch Batman inside. Let's see if I can get close for you. Come on, load, damn it. Uh, he steers. Do you see that? Actually, let me. Can I? No, I can't. Come on. Let me transition back. And then, there we go. And then, bam, now you can see it. He steers, guys. It's the same crappy six inch Batman, but he steers. That's so cool. Yeah, he's it's, it's really dope. And then, here is a better photo. It looks amazing. Fuck yeah. I think it's like 200 area 250 bucks. Honestly, that's worth 250 bucks. That thing is sick. Look at that detail. That is dope, guys. And compared to the fucking I mean, it was cheap the uh the 20 buck one, but I'm going to get more centered. But that thing looks really cool. Really cool. Oh shit, I have to go back. I, 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 I got rid of the chat box. Okay. You saw Red Rex go for a thousand bucks? What? Star Wars prequel thoughts. They're okay. I think the first one sucked. The second one's okay. And then the third one's the best one. Honestly, I think uh, Revenge of the Sith is possibly better than A Return of the Jedi. You can shoot me. In the, you can shoot me. I don't care. I think Revenge of the Sith is an overall better film than Revenge. The first half hour of Revenge is amazing. Then Ewoks and just kind of goes down. And Revenge is just like a dark film, I mean, more serious. And uh, Hayden Christensen's actually acting. Did you hear that Hasbro was going? Are they going to, or are they actually? Is it just a false rumor? dictator trump that they're gonna release the the bmf the big millennium falcon it, it won't cost 400 actually it might cost 400 bucks because they charge what 300 for that fucking at at or the at act walker from rogue one i bought that i took it back i'm not i needed to pay my phone bill <laughs> james Doolin, great question how much did i ever spend on a collectible probably a hot toy <laughs> i have the it's not a hot toy but he's a sideshow jango fuck it i'll show him i showed him before I got him over here. And then the Terminator's on the damn floor. Actually, he's in the basement, but the box is right there. So that's like, you know, 200, 250. A lot of money, man. But they're worth it. They're fucking worth it for sure. Uh, how much was that? Um, I think I said it. That Kong V Rex and the Roaring. I got a crazy deal. They're 150 total. So 75 each. Those, that thing goes for like 150 to 300 easily. So I lucked out. That was like months ago, though. You have to really think when a movie's coming out. Kong, March 10th. I got that in like November. So never do it a month or two months earlier. You have to do it at least three or months or so down the line. The Rock during his 3434 three, four reign. Wait, wait, I have to go back. No, I don't know what you mean, Trey. You have to elaborate on that. I play JT if G did it. GTA. Did I ever play GTA 4? Yeah. Oh, you mean GTA 5 because Alejandro, because uh, Trevor, Michael, and Franklin are in GTA 5 and 4. Uh, other Franklin or Michael, I'm going to say probably Franklin. 
Trevor is definitely not my favorite character. Uh, fucking Grand Theft Auto Five. That guy was a piece of shit. What? Ooh, marinated ass. Wolverine or Deadpool? Wolverine. Deadpool is a good, uh, good one though. I have to buy that movie, man. How many people in the comments have liked the video? I have. I don't know. Revenge. You tell me. <laughs> Revenge is better than Return of the Jedi. I agree with you, KC. You the man. Good question, Revenge. Jurassic Park 3, Animatronic Spinal, or The Demon Connotaurus? What a fucking question. I, there's only two I have on my desk besides the Thrasher. Hmm. Let's get centered. This thing is expensive as shit for some reason. People love it. This thing is also expensive as shit, and for some reason, people love it. If I had to pick one, honestly, this is Kenner, but I'm going to pick this one because I love big-ass dinosaurs. T-Rex is my favorite. And, you know, it took a while to get, it took a while to get both of these. These are both finally unboxings. And I want to say, I want to say the Spinosaurus because I'm, I'm growing to like the Spinosaurus more and more, even though it's, you know, my favorite. Um, I don't know why. I think the Spinosaurus, even though this guy is still cool and he's made by Kenner. I'm going to say it's Spinosaurus. That's a great question. <clears throat> Did I buy the Chop and Stomp Grimlock from Transformers 4? Uh, yes, I did. I painted it to make it look silver and then the moss on top green. And I sold it on eBay like an idiot. But uh, I want to buy that again and review that actually because that was really cool. I told, I'm sorry I skipped, your <coughs> I skipped your question. I need more water. Oh, uh, I'm out. <laughs> no. Yeah, the prequels aren't too bad. People make fun of them, but, I mean, episode one was bad. Episode two was, you know, was, uh, but episode three was really good. So, to get to that, you really need to watch the first two and kind of suffer. <laughs> but the third one's, it's worth the wait to get to the third one, because the third one's good. <clears throat> Damn. Did I tell about Archives asked? No way, really good, because uh, Dictator Trump, I will buy the BMF. Because that thing, you can't even find the full thing on eBay now. You can you barely find parts to the BMF. Okay, uh, the chat's going crazy. Sometimes I take toys back when I have to pay bills. I know, Black Snow. I know, it sucks. That was Series 1, Young Rex. Yeah, dude. Jurassic Man. Uh, I have the old one that's torn up thanks to my old cat. But I, I have a new one up there in the box. And I'm going to do a review in summer. So, Summer, Punk Attack the Rock. Oh, yeah. Remember, the, uh, Trey, if you're still here. Do you remember uh, when that uh, that blind guy, I think in Chicago or something? No, he was in Chicago. as like a gas station owner or a convenience store owner or something. And uh, he got robbed. And he's like, that wasn't even the worst part of my week. And my worst part of the week was when CM Punk lost to the Rock. I'm like, holy shit, that's amazing. I was a big punk mark, so I was mad that he lost the rock, of course. I think, was that the same year they did uh, Once in a Lifetime again or some shit? Uh, punk versus uh, rock, or rock versus Cena at WrestleMania? Ugh. Do you think the Call of Duty game should just stop? I don't know, because I haven't played a Call of Duty game in a while, even though I want to buy that uh, the Infinity, is it Infinity? Just to get the remastered of 4. I love Call of Duty 4. It's one of the greatest games I've ever made. Do you ever get picked on for collecting figures? I'm sure there's a lot of people out there get criticized. Um, me at my age right now? No, because we're all adults now, for the most part. Or at least your friends. Some of your family members might, but I don't give a shit about them. <laughs> but uh, when I was a kid, yeah, I think like sixth grade. I, I, I might retell this story, but I'll just tell it right now, because Marinated asked. I think in sixth grade, I had pictures from Toy Fair 2001 of like the toys and then some of the movie, Dress Part 3, movie stills my desk or in my desk i would just you know momentarily you know like look at them you know, i'll do it a little bit better i like look at them and then like you know the fucking kids were like making fun of me for it and i stopped so um that actually kind of stopped and negatively affected me for collecting from like sixth grade to like after college i picked up the 2k13 or 2k11 in 2013 alice and packy rhinosaurus and uh, that, that, that's all I did. And then I really started getting hardcore at 15 for Jurassic World Toys. And I started getting back into it. So I'm really late to the game. I never should have quit. So don't listen to fucking people. That's the, that's the answer. <laughs> yeah, the moral of the story. Who do you think would win? Indominus or Spinosaurus? I'm going to say 
So Andominus comes out like the Andominus. Uh, whoa, chat going fast. Yeah, I try to sell stuff on eBay, man. I like the bird like dinosaur figures on Big Bad Toy Store. I have not seen them. I don't like, I just like that Transformers Toy Master Builder. I should team up with Gaming Beaver to make a Jurassic Park uh, skit. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be kind of funny. I don't know what I would have him do, though. I mean, maybe I can message him. I could do something. That'd be funny. <laughs> Biggest toy regret. Ooh, selling or breaking. You brought up Red Rex and it broke within 10 minutes. You know, I have to do a, a taking apart uh, Red Rex video and try to see if I can fix them up. Biggest toy regret, though. Hmm. Maybe, I mean, it's not my fault, but Santa Claus never got me the Red Rex. I had to go buy it myself when I was like that that age, like 13 or something um, in sixth grade. So that might be my biggest one. Um, that's a good fucking question. Biggest one. Oh, what the hell, what the hell? I know I have an answer for you. So I'm an idiot. I went through like this minimalist phase. And uh, I'm still a minimalist, but not as crazy. Or I guess not as, um, ah, what's the word I'm looking for? As, uh, sm I don't know, as smart, as collective, con as, as collector conscious, uh, as, as OCD, as detail oriented as I am now. I fucking had the box for the Lost World trailer. But for some fucking reason, I thought that was inefficient of, of being on my wall or, or on my dresser or something. And so what I did was I fucking, I cut, I'm actually, I think I can show you because it might be, I don't know, actually it might not be, it might be in storage. Yeah, it's in storage. But I cut the box. I just had, I just kept the front of the box and then maybe, actually what I did was I cut the sides of the box and the top. And all I had was the front, the bottom, and then the back side. So it can make like a triangle. And for some reason I wanted that as a display. And... That was my biggest regret I've ever done, obviously, because that thing's amazing. And I was such an idiot for doing that. Oh. Damn, where's Trey? Where's Trey? There's Trey. Yeah, I love The Rock, too, but I think Punk should have kept it. Yeah, bro, I, I agree with you. I fucking, like, I said that uh, last week or so, two weeks ago or something. Like that. The Rock's probably my, he's probably number four, my favorite fucking wrestlers. And Punk's probably six. You know, I probably love Punk more than Rock, but I love Rock back in the day, you know, at Attitude Era. Man, uh, Punk should have definitely kept that belt. Yeah, electronics are fledged. Oh, I see you later, James. What's the what's your proudest best toy custom? I don't know. Maybe the next one because I'm gonna do more uh, customs hopefully here soon. I burp soon. <laughs> Prototype Boba, really? <laughs> Sand Trooper would be interesting. Um. I do not play the Jurassic World mobile game anymore. <laughs> you have all the JP, JW, Rex variations, do you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Gaming Beaver watches my vids. Yeah, he commented. I mean, people watch your stuff. They don't They don't comment, you know. They don't have to. I'll, I'll comment. But people are, people are watching. People are lurking. Shell, what I could probably do is... Uh, you, you probably could send me your Red Rex if you want to. But um, I'll probably end up buying one of my own damaged ones. And, and taking them apart for my own video. So, Thank you, Alejandro. What's your greatest moment in collecting? Mine's getting Toy Biz. Or Toy Biz Deadpool. Greatest moment in toy collecting. That's a good question. Maybe snagging this for 30 bucks. Greatest moment in toy collecting. I might just say, just like keeping like all of these guys and never getting rid of them. Because I could have easily done that. I wasn't into collecting. I could have easily gotten rid of these guys. And I didn't. I kept them in storage. I kept them in the, the parents' storage area. Uh, shed storage, like rental. And, uh... Also, keeping all the boxes for, like, Jurassic Park 3. I was smart enough at 6th uh, grade to fucking not throw out the boxes. So, I kept those. <laughs> Most of them. Yeah, I think I have all of them, actually, for Jurassic Park 3. So, 
Those are the big two. Okay, a couple more questions. I don't know. I did. Uh, who will win? 100 foot Kong or 100 foot Indominus? Dude, Indominus, dude. Fuck Kong. I hate Kong. <laughs> Dinosaurs, baby. DC film, you mean DC film, uh, DC collectors uh, line? Or are you talking about Mattel? Because Mattel, the Mattel figure is not that good. Favorite JW and JP toy? Oh, if you're asking for revenge for separately. Uh, maybe just Red Rex and then the, Indom the Chomping Indominus, the bad boy. Have you seen Ted Brothers' videos? That's a great question. He has some of the best custom repaints. His repaints are very good. And I have seen his videos. We follow each other on tw uh, Twitter, on Instagram. And I, I fucking talk to him all the time. That guy is so cool. And he actually... Um, I was going through some crazy shit in, I think, December or something. Uh, my dog was in bad health. And I ended up passing away. But seeing his... Um, seeing his uh, uh, photos and videos on Instagram... Uh, really made me uh, more happiness in my heart, bring more joy. So, kind of helped out that little mini depression that I went through. Terminator Salvation or Genesis? Great question. Genesis for sure, KC. Salvation's okay. I have them all over here. I have the. Do you have it? The anthology. Oh, the anthology. Bam. And then, uh, I really hate fucking paper packaging, but I have. Of course, all of them except ooh, I have the remastered, <laughs> the remastered one. But yeah, I'm probably never gonna touch Salvation. Honestly, I'm not gonna touch three either. You know, three is okay. Uh, I pretty much go one, two, Genesis. God, I need to buy like a plastic case for this shit. La 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 la. Yeah, DC Collectibles. Okay, Trey. I haven't seen DC Collectibles, um, Batman and Superman stuff in a minute, so. I, yeah, I think I know what you're talking about, Lopes Jones. It's a chick. She's all just she's talking about, and she's squeezing the ribs. I know what you're talking about. And Dominus would win over Skull Call, dude. All right, Shell. Take care, bud. Yeah, Locust, I'll, uh, Locust and Shell, I'll try to maybe somehow this summer maybe do a Fixing Red Rex video. If Jurassic Collectibles, Game Beer, Matthew, Brando team up to make one huge video, I'd freak out. Well, Revenge Reviews, go tag us all on Twitter. Let's make it happen. Who win, Godzilla or Indominus Rex? Indominus Rex, because Indominus would... Indominus scaled his size, it says. Indominus would, because he can cloak to the wall. Godzilla couldn't see him. DC Collectibles had a Zod films figure. Hey man, just get the, the Zod hot toy. <laughs> Mega Bloks Terminator Genesis toys? No way. They had those? What do I think of the new NECA Godzillas? I don't know. I haven't seen them. <laughs> yeah, dude. KC, the anthology is a nice set, man. I think it's only like 50 bucks ish, so that's why I picked it up. Do you have the, uh, the remastered? version because the one that comes with D1, the one that comes with this is not the remastered and it looks like shit. Okay. The chat's going to be lagging, but we'll go with one more question because we're at one hour. Actually, we're past one hour. One fifteen. Does Hot Toys Zod come with the snap neck? I don't know. Probably not. That can't be my last question. Let's get a different one. I'm assuming I'm about to get a barrage of like fucking five to fifteen people. How to fix the? Uh, beside mine, actually, dude, watch this. You can't see it though. Mine has a broken leg, and it stands just fine. Watch this. Ready? The magic. Look at that. The leg is broken, dude. And if I just put it evenly. It stands, dude. So, yeah. I don't know what stint issues you're talking about, dude. <laughs> it's funny, most people tell you JP questions. I know, man, it's crazy. A JPL is 160. What? Nah, Ethan, I, don't, I haven't seen that Godzilla, the NECA stuff. I don't care about <laughs> it. 
All right, for real, the last one. Wait for it to come up. Here you go. What's your favorite and least toy company? Mezco. No, not Mezco. I'm an idiot. Mafex. Mafex Medicom. They consistently have figures that the, the limbs break off or the arms aren't. The, the biceps. You go look up Batman 2.0. I had one. The head, the peg for the head itself. Not just like the head. The, it would snap off. Uh, Mafex uh, consistently has just shit production. And it's crazy because they're a Japanese company. However, their shit is made in China. But all of the Japanese company stuff's made in China too from what I understand. But for some reason, the Japanese company that breaks the mold of Japanese toy companies being good. And Medicom Mafex sucks. They're probably the worst toy company. Okay. I'm going to end it. And two days from now, Wednesday. Join for another discussion. It won't be wrestling, but you can still come and talk wrestling if you like to. Talk Star Wars, talk Jurassic Park. I'm going to open this guy up because he's still sealed. I got him on clearance like Christmas time or something like that. Uh, Force Awakens. Uh, TIE Fighter because it was in the movie and it had a significant role for Force Awakens. And I really like Force Awakens. So, Yes, we'll do this Wednesday. I think 7 o'clock Eastern if you're asking what time it is. Or just check my Facebook page. Everything's on the Facebook page. So, thanks guys very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. What am I saying? That's my old outro. We're live, folks. I'm Brando, and I fight for the users. Thank you for choosing. C-R-S. Bye, guys. Ah, uh, I stopped the stream.